Hello and welcome to West Midland Caravans and Motorhomes Motor Mover Tutorial. Prior to operating any part of your motor mover, it is essential to ensure that the caravan is in a safe condition to move. Ensure your handbrake is fully applied. Visual check that the tyres appear to be correctly inflated. The corner steadies are fully raised and any service connections such as water, electricity or waste are disconnected. At this stage, locate your mover's isolation key and ensure it is turned off. You should be able to remove the key when it is in the off position. Make sure any wheel clamps are removed and that the jockey wheel is sufficiently raised to allow the caravan's nose to turn. A good tip is to ensure that the caravan's internal 12 volt supply is switched off to allow maximum power to be delivered to your motor mover from your leisure battery. Engage the mover rollers onto the caravan's wheels. On manual, actuated movers, you should be able to feel a defined clunk as the mechanism clams over and applies full pressure. On the wind on type movers, you should observe the green indicator to ensure the correct pressure is applied. Visually check the opposite side of your caravan's mover to ensure the cross actuation is fully engaged onto the tyre. If your mover is not cross actuated, you will of course have to engage the other side manually using the same process as you have just seen. Once satisfied that the mover is fully engaged, it is now safe to remove any chocks and release the handbrake on anything of up to 25% gradient. Remain by the handbrake for a moment to ensure the caravan doesn't attempt to roll. Now, turn on the mover's isolation key by rotating it fully clockwise. Turn on your mover's handset. On this PowerTouch Evolution model, it is done by pressing down the green buttons together and allowing the green LEDs to become static. You can now move your caravan as required. Once the caravan has been moved to your desired position, fully apply the handbrake. If the caravan is facing uphill, wheels on both sides should be chocked. Turn off the mover's handset on this model by pressing one of the green buttons. If no button is pressed, the handset will switch itself off after 30 seconds. If this occurs, but you wish to continue to use your mover, it will be necessary to turn the isolation key off and back on again before switching your handset back on. If you have finished using the mover, switch off the isolation key, removing it completely if desired. Keeping a tight grip on the actuation wrench, release the mover's rollers from the tyres. Visually check both sides of the mover are fully disengaged. You should have a gap between the tyre and the roller of about 20 millimetres, which is roughly three quarters of an inch. Thank you for watching. If you liked our videos, don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel for more hints, tips and useful advice. And also follow us on Facebook at West Midland Caravans and Motorhomes Limited.